Let's get this building loud. Make noise for your NBA champions, the Chicago Bulls. Crank up the noise for the NBA champions, your Chicago Bulls. This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Barrett, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Outside, the wings are Murray and Hunter. Bridges out there with Okongwu. And it's Young in at the point guard. And for Chicago, star pair of Levine and DeRozan are your wingmen. Vucevic is out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Taylor in at the point. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for... season sometimes emotions can get the best of you and, and it can take a little time to settle into a game now here's Murray with the drive young in the corner six to shoot the three ball and he's good on the three ball Young's got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for the Hawks. And that's where Young is just so comfortable. He lives well beyond the three-pointer. Out of bounds, and will go to the Hawks. Here's Atlanta now. It's a three-point game. And going against Chicago, their first game of the NBA's regular season. And in this matchup, last season, Miles not Bridges. one of the games went their Assisted way. By well, the open man's out there. You've got to feed him, and Murray gets the job done. Here's Taylor. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now, here's Bridges. That one good for two. Miles Bridges. Bridges has got his second bucket of the night. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. Offensive rebound. Here's Taylor. The shot good, good on the assist by Bucevic. Boy, he is looking good, man. Look at how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. And Young kicks to Murray. Offline with his three. Bulls have gone two or three here to start out the game. Taylor against Young. Shoots a fader. Shot by Taylor, no good. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Hunter, no good. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Oh, the, the officials are First all over personal that. Foul. Here we are, Greg, watching Atlanta. Foul. This team has a lot of firepower. At the line and some great scores, Kevin. They don't just launch threes. They like to work for good shots inside the arc as well. Now, here is Young. Bridges outside. Back to Young. And the layup is good after Pretty a nice lead pass. Young's got five. Great job by Young there, not settling for a jumper and getting that ball close in. Fires away from way outside. Taylor's shot. Good. And it's all about him. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. The pass to Okonwu. Bridges attacking. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Excels at driving to the basket. Bridges making the D get physical with him when he penetrates. Miles Bridges. And 
and can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. Yeah, and the confidence Bridges plays with. Oh! And how about just holding to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Atlanta's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Young pass it to Okonwu. Here's Murray. And that one drops for him. Great concentration from DeJounte that time, just playing right through the contact. Out of bounds, it will go to the Hawks. A moment now to see the numbers for the Nationals. He's coming off an excellent season and seven assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. But he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Now here's Murray. Okongwu picks to Young. Those three pointers off the mark. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Young against Levine. Inside. A shot by Okongwu. No good. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And with his hard charging style, DeRozan gets himself to the line quite a bit. And it helps that he can finish through contact. The Hawks trail by three. Murray with it. Now Bridges. Now the dish to Young. A floater. He lays it in. Ray Young. Young's got Assisted seven. Miles Bridges. For Chicago, they've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Oh, oh. oh that's a terrific dive from DeRozan. And this is why guys enjoy playing with him. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Passes it to Hunter. Back to Young. Lock at six. 14 feet away. Rebound by the Bulls. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure don't want them to take that kind of shot. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Taylor against Young. Over Drummond. Again, Young missing. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. Have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Murray. After the Bulls picking up a basket just moments ago. And the basket is good. Murray sort of deceptively powerful. Does a great job of finding angles, so touching him up is not going to stop that motion. Now here's Taylor. 17 points in the game. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Taylor's got 19 points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Young with the ball. Now guarded by DeRozan. Young looking around. And Okongwu slams it in. Oh, man. Easy money for Young. When someone's that wide open, it's going to turn it into a bucket. And going back to the NBA draft night 2018, you remember this, when we first saw Luka Doncic trade for Trey Young. And there's been so much talk about this trade, Kevin. I think we can agree both teams that's paid dividends for both franchises. They've made immediate impacts, and in terms of Trey, he's quickly become one of the league's elite scorers. Here's Hunter after the made shot from Taylor. Hunter no good. The Bulls leading by seven. And Drummond kicks to Taylor. Uses the glass to finish the way. He's got 23. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. 
And now the first the timeout Hawks. call here for the Hawks. You look at the natural. He's been playing really well. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. He's checked in for Andre Drummond, and it's wide in for Zach Levine. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Johnson comes in for Miles Bridges. Baves checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. The Bulls leading by nine. Pass to DeRozan. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. DeRozan. DeRozan's got five points so far. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Taylor. Here we go. Jordan. And it's Taylor finishing it off. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just Taylor. sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Team Bowen, he's jacked in Coming for DeMar DeRozan. For your goal. Bogdanovich finds Young. Over Taylor. Knocks down the strip back Jay. Nine points in the game so far. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Bulls lead by 13. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And the natural is going to pick up the foul. Personal foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Capella, the pass to Bay. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Here's White. Atlanta with the rebound. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Outside Bogdanovich. From deep. Bay, no good. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. And it's Vucevic missing. The Hogs trail by 13. And here's Bay. He has yet to score. Misses the baby hook. Chicago has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Shot by Taylor, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Back yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy who can tell takes every possession defensively. Substitution on the court. It's stolen by Taylor. This is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second quarter. We've got Griffin. DeAndre Hunter out there with Miles Bridges. Then it's Okongwu. And it's Murray in at the point. Right at the free throw line. Up again. He hangs in there and catches it on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Taylor. Banked in off the glass. 32 points for the natural. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, DeJounte Murray grew up in South Seattle. He said a lot of stuff goes on. It was rough. But NBA veteran and fellow Rainier Beach DeAndre graduate Hunter. Jamal Murray tried to help him. Murray says he always stayed positive with me and my family. He'd say that kid has a chance. And every summer we play pickup. I knew I could be okay if I stayed working. Kevin? And he did. D.A., thanks so much for the report. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Buries it from three-point range. Hunter's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Atlanta. 
Here's Taylor. Right in the end. Oh, and the dunk by Taylor. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Murray outside. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. For Murray's three. got seven points. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Here's Taylor. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Griffin finds Murray. Here's Hunter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free Levine. throw line. First it's on Zach Levine. First such a foul. talented swing man, and every year shooting he seems to ball. find a way to add a little bit of something to his game. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. It's all the power. That's true. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stops. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball. They're looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition. So that focus on fast break add to your total in a hurry. And the jam by Levine. And blessed with high-level explosiveness, Levine is no stranger to finishing out in the bounds. air. And That's it's going to be out of bounds. Ball. The Hawks will retain possession. Pass to Bridges. Kicks it to Hunter. They get it. And great activity from Levine there. When he's engaged on defense, he's a difference maker. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And the foul called on Ayo Dosumu. Ayo Dosumu. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And so it looks like the Out Hawks have retained possession here. Atlanta ball. Here's what the Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Saturday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Monday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the Boston Celtics. Murray outside. Five to shoot. Over Taylor. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Third personal foul. More of this from DeJounte Murray just playing on the front foot, the line getting the to the free throw line. And so Murray nails both of them. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Here's Taylor, and he hammers that one down. He's going to put that one in his breath. Insane. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Bridges outside. He kicks it to Murray. Floats one up, and that's two points on the way. Murray. Murray's got 11. And Murray with the floater looking silky there. Taylor against Murray. Fires for three. Shot by Taylor, no good. Definitely a situation you want to make sure we don't give him too good. DeJounte Murray. And it feels like DeJounte Murray's working at the post office right now because there's stamps of him all over this game. Here's Taylor. Off target from three-point range. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend and they double up Murray. For a three, Hunter. Rebound by the Bulls. Drummond's got his fourth rebound in this one. From downtown. No good on that one. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Bridges kicks to Murray. 
Back to Bridges. To the left wing. Fires from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Drummond's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Taylor. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. Fairly a foul. Chicago shoot their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Taylor. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Trail by 11. It's stolen by Taylor. Front pass the arc. Bridges with the board. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. And no comes it in. From I love the fact that Bridges does a little bit of everything, including passing the ball. The Bulls with another miss. Atlanta's gone two of four from three point range so far in the second quarter. To the paint. And it's sent back by Truman. Out left to the wing. Here's Taylor. And it's sent back by Okongwu. And it goes over bounds. That one off Okongwu. Alex Caruso is checked in for the Bulls. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Here's Taylor. Here's Drummond, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Bridges up top. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. Some verticality out there from DeJounte Murray as he rises up. Down low, here's Taylor, and Taylor with the stop. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Murray finds Hunter. DeRozan against Bridges. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc, Caruso grabs the miss. Chicago leading by nine. Here's Taylor. That's good. It's Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists now in this one. For Atlanta, they've gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Here's Murray. The Hawks again can't hit. And for the Bulls, their shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% for the field overall? And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Bridges shot. Mark Good. Bridges. They're having more success in three-point three range here in the second after a rough first quarter for B. Here's Taylor. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Murray. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And one on the motion. This is what that kind of size in the backcourt can give you. Murray, a bigger guard, hard to handle down low. So Chicago going with an almost in. So it's the Chicago Bulls. With the end of the first half, to the floor, the Bulls, 74, the Hawks, 68. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. What can you say? The natural and impressive effort here today. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Levine on the wing along with DeRozan. Vucevic is out there with Andre Drummond, and it's Taylor in at the one. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. The off 
offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Count that one. And Taylor's got 49 points in the game. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Young. Here's Okongu. And Okongu slams it in. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe, just maybe, outside, Taylor. Again, what an avalanche! That gives him 51. Making it look easy. The Hawks trail by eight. Young outside. This is to Bridges. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got five or eight counts. And when you're a high usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. Young pass to Okongwu. Bridges attacking. The kick out to Young. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 14 on the night. Miles Bridges. The Bulls leading by eight. Ah, uh, what a luxury bread it is to have Trey Young head up his team. Uh, unbelievable. Just a walking bucket. And there's nights where you could just expect something special is coming at the hands of Trey Young. So much success in the early part of his career, and he hasn't slowed down. Here's Young. Gets it to fall. And now he's 10 of 15 on the game. Young working hard on the defensive end that time. Here's Taylor. And it goes down two points. Taylor's got 55. He is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Atlanta ball. And now here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. Number one, the Bulls. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss from beyond the arc. I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. Young outside. He dishes it to Hunter. Now his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. Changing hands quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Murray, the pass to Bridges. Murray with it. Now guarded by Vucevic. Vucevic with the block. Well turned by Vucevic. Not a center who piles up blocks, but this guy picks his spots. And it's DeRozan missing. The Hawks trail by 12. Bridges outside. Murray left side. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Murray. Murray's got 19 points. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. And to Rosen, throws it down. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not Rosen. find a higher percentage opportunity Taylor. than that. Fourth. And the Nationals going to pick up the foul. First team that foul. will get him his fourth foul of the game. Dishes to Hunter. Hawks passing it around. Here's Young. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Trains the three-pointer. Down the stretch, he's been flat out. Awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Murray, the pass to Young. Bridges at the elbow. Murray right side. Over Levine. Murray, no good. Bulls leading by 15. Here's Taylor. Another bucket. Wow. 
That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. Young dishes to Okonwu. To the middle to stop the run. Great tee that time from Vucevic. And Vucevic has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. 17 point lead, their big player. Well rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both the ends of the floor time. here tonight. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. He's checked in for Vucevic. All right, a chance to look at some stats for Zach Levine. Last year, getting it done. He was around nine points per last year. Five assists and three rebounds. And he can play some valuable minutes on the wing for this team. I just want to kick back and lounge here because when this guy is hot, it's a love story. And when he's cold, it's a nightmare. So sit back, get your popcorn. Let's see what he does. And it's blocked. And they hit it back. The shot by Okongwu, no good. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. And it goes out of bounds. Basketball. Last touch by Murray. Here's Taylor. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Bridges against DeRozan, trying to get something going. Bridges misses. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurry shot selection. The Bulls leading by 22. Taylor. And he uses the glass on the lane. 69 points for the natural. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Atlanta calls timeout. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, there was quite a bit of shakeup in the Hawks front office last season amid rumors of discord. DeJounte Murray said, there's a lot of noise, but at the end of the day, winning takes care of it all. So we need to control what we can control, continue to come together as brothers, and try to go out and win basketball games. Devin, back to you. All right, that's all they can do. David, thanks. Chicago making a switch here. Ball's checked in, and the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Cabela. Oh, Guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G swipe game. A moment now to First see the personal foul. Capella. Last First season, he played foul. outstanding. And he finished among the, the top 10 in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And yeah, he's one of the most efficient scorers in the league for sure. Moves without the ball, avoids taking the bad shots. That's why he was top five in field goal percentage last year. Torrey Crane, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. Using his length that time, Capella up top to slam it down. Chicago has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Taylor. Good, that's another bucket. This game has his name written all over. Gray, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Atlanta's shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. Here's Bogdanovich. Craig pulls it in. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's Capella. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. 
Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Now, here is Young. He's got 23. Young is double. Here's Capella, and it's blocked. To the inside, here's Taylor. Good, he hits again. And here it is, 82 points. And this is a game that he will never forget. Outside, Bogdanovich. Kicks it out to Johnson. A three-pointer off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Shot by Taylor, no good. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Johnson with it. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Capella trying to free himself up. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Trying to improve every year. That's the goal of anyone in the NBA. Bogdanovich has great fundamentals to be able to do that. Taylor got a hand on it, and they're able to recover. Goes back up. Rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bogdanovich inside. Taylor's there. Here's Johnson. And yes, it's good. Johnson. Johnson's got his second bucket of the game to go. How good is that? I mean, he can make Two a defender foolish at times. Step back and square it. So far tonight, he's been the game's leading scorer. He's got a new group, and no one's found a way to get him out of it. Knocked away. It's stolen by Taylor. And it's Taylor finishing it off. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. And Young kicks to Bogdanovich. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. DeMar DeRozan. And you look at Bogdanovich. Substitution on the court. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. On the court for Atlanta, the wing pairing is Bogdanovich and Hunter. Miles Bridges is out there with Okongwu. And it's Murray in at the one spot. You don't see that too often, the fadeaway shot when he's wide open. And Murray's got the ball here for the Hawks. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. He can't get it to go. For Chicago, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Taylor. Hits it again. Wow. That's 91. An incredible feat. This is just flat out insane. Murray kicks to Bogdanovich. Hey, Brent, in recent years, we've seen the rise of sports analytics conventions, pro basketball negotiation competitions. I mean, they're really digging deep. Well, they're not only digging deep, Kevin, but they're giving a tremendous opportunity to a swath of people that never thought they'd be part of the NBA. Look, if you're not six foot eight with a 35 inch vertical, that doesn't mean that you still don't have a place at the table in the NBA if you study hard enough or you can make contributions to what the business side of basketball is all about. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him Bulls until foul. he misses. And the next one's going to pick up the foul. Fifth personal foul. That's his fifth foul. First team the Hawks foul. making a change. Coming here. Forrest the floor for the Hawks. Trent Forrest. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Out and outbounds as the Bulls gain possession. No ball. Now into the lineup for the Hawks. McLeod. 
Chicago's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Bulls moving the ball around. Shot by Taylor, no good. The Hawks have gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going over four so far. Murray surveying the D. Passes to Forrest. Plays it up and banks it in. Forrest. They're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. To the middle. And it's Drummond with the jam. He really at times can throw that ball up near the top of the square. And Andre Drummond can still get up for it. Pass to Murray. Here's McLeod. Pass to Bogdanovich. Takes the three. Another three for Atlanta. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Outside, Taylor. And the Bulls, another three. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Here's Forrest. Good D by Drummond. Chicago's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good. There he goes! He's jumping, he's jumping on a play like that. Wow, he's up there, Kevin. With the assist. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Floats one, and Forrest Trent gets Forrest. it to go. Forrest has got four points in the quarter. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Brent, aren't even you amazed at the size of coaching staffs and all the support people these individual teams have now? Yeah, some of the teams really go way out there with regards to almost a one-to-one -one ratio, Kevin, between player and coach. Just wonder sometimes if there's ideas that get shared, if they get convoluted with that many people. But if you're a player, man, the resources are there. Back to Murray. Let's go. And the Hawks getting another he's basket right there. Murray. Typically, Murray likes to get that shot off while he's dribbling, but in recent years, working on that catch-and-shoot situation. Oh! oh. Here he comes, and there he goes. Look at him punish that rim. Hawks have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. Here's Forrest. And there it is for him. Trent Forrest. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Bowling the pass to Dosun. Taylor. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. He looks like he's gonna get it. To the wing right side. Now the pass to McClough. outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Forrest. He's covered by Taylor. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. And it's McLeod with the rebound. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense and the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for them here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Here's Bogdanovich, and the layup's good off the glass. Bogdanovich has got five points now this quarter. Well, Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. We know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 
It's tipped inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First person Andre foul. Drummond picks one up. Second team. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle Shooting game. For Atlanta. How it's been going for the Bulls. Well, guys, they've done everything the they can in this one to just dominate that backboard offensively. Shoot. It's keeping control of the ball. And then, All right, well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, when you look at the eyes of these guys, they're focused, Makes wanting to get up tempo. That's helped them score on the fast break. And now, we present our New Balance player of the game, Von Etcher. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. His kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Here's Forrest, light covering. Here's Okongwu. And a good offensive Onyeka, board running against the bucket. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. To the paint. And Taylor stands at home. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Atlanta. Here's Forrest. He's covered by Taylor. Here's Bogdanovich. Plays it up off the glass. Bogdanovich has got 12 points in just the second half. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Here's Taylor. And a miss there on the triple. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Passes it to Forrest. And you think about the All-Star game last year, Greg, some concern about the lack of competition. Uh, it worries me. Does it worry you? Kevin, it's not ideal. I, I think it's worth asking what could give the players more incentive to win, whether that's money or something else we can think of. Back to Taylor. The 11-footer. And another Jordan one for Taylor. And he's been dominant From here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Shoots from 12. Okongwu controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that. Oh, oh man. Oh. Love it. Listen to that. I love that. Oh, yeah. oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Down low. And the shot Jaylen is good from Johnson. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. And again, a one shot is good from Taylor. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here. For the Bulls. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for the natural. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Taylor. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Hawks. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Johnson outside. Atlanta again, missing. Taylor 
taking his time here. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you gotta commend this sort of game, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game. And to have that crowd and we will see so you pumped again up. Soon. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you.